Men and mother, O one of you know who could Apollo Polo over your way to us, clarified and maintain the neutrality of the palace of the Benin Kingdom in the forthcoming governorship election in Edo State, saying, He is not aware that any son of the other current or of blazed memory who do refer to themselves as son of the palace involved or contesting in the forthcoming governorship election in the state. Over a way to make the clarification on Saturday when former Anambra State Governor and Labour Party presidential candidate in the last general elections in Nigeria, Peter Obile, the Labour Party governorship candidate in the forthcoming Edo State Guba Poll, Barista Olumide Apata to officially inform the burning monarch of the electioneering interest and seek royal blessings in the forthcoming governorship race. Barista Olumide Apata had introduced himself as the son of the palace while speaking the visit. According to the Benin monarch, the statement meant him to make inquiry and from one of the palace chiefs to know if truly the Labour Party candidate is one of the sons of the palace, and in clear terms, Omar Ewaretu said based on the information from the palace chief, he is not aware of any son of the palace contesting in the governorship poll. The Benin monarch said that there are people who may be distantly related to the palace that are not actually members of the royal family that do often address themselves as children of the palace, adding that he is not aware of any child of the palace into politics for the sake of the press and clarification before the public. Olumide Apata quickly responded and withdrew his earlier statement that he is a son of the palace and apologized to the Benin monarch. That aside, Peter Obi in a tweet said that, Today, in Benin City, Edo State Capital, I joined the Labour Party gubernatorial candidate, Barista Olumide Apata, and his running mate, Alhaji Yusuf Kadiri, as they officially launched their campaign for the Edo State Governorship 2024 elections. Also with us were the national leadership of the party, including distinguished senators, Nida Imaslen, Victor Umi, Chief Kelvin Chuku, and Dr. Tony Umoye, and our numerous LP members, and well wishers. The campaign in Edo State aimed to connect with the people and spread our message of hope and transformation for a new Nigeria. It started from our LP gubernatorial candidate campaign secretariat and concluded with a courtesy visit to the palace of the Oba of Benin, where we sought royal blessings for free, fair, and credible elections and reaffirmed our commitment to Edo State's welfare and prosperity. On his own, the Labour Party governorship candidate, Olumide Apata said, the streets of Benin City pulsed with energy today as we officially flanked of the Labour Party's Nigeria Labour campaign for the 2024 Edo gubernatorial elections. Alongside our national leader, Mr. Peter Obi, and party stalwarts from across the country, we marched through the iconic streets of Benin City, witnessing the people's palpable yearnings for change. Under a Labour Party-led administration, the dreams of Edolites will no longer be deferred. We will be the unstoppable force that shatters the shackles of stagnation and ushers in an era of unprecedented growth and empowerment. Edo, the time is now, the Labour Party campaign train has arrived, and we are coming to a city, town, or community near you. Olumide Apata had earlier in another event previous days, said he is not making campaign promises but covenant to the people. Yesterday's campaign stops took us from the vibrant ego market women leaders to the bustling aisles of Mission Road Market, then to the lively Butcher Street Market, before wrapping up in the warm embrace of the Husei. Community, at each stop, one thing was clear, and those heartbeats with potential waiting to be unleashed. To every trader who paused his or her trade, every artisan who set down his or her tools, and every community member who waited late into the evening, your time and trust humble me. Your stories fuel our mission, and in those stands where everyone, not just a few, thrives. I come here, best of two states, to give us their mandate. When the cat I will be doing here, will be going here, as the, as my father has said previously, I am a son of this papa. I am a, and so I feel comfortable, I feel, uh, I feel, uh, I feel bold enough to come to Israel and to seek for your blessing, uh, uh, for, for your royal majesty's blessing, Oba uh, and, uh, and to report to your royal majesty that the Labour Party in the state is strong and vibrant and we are going to go around all 18 local governments uh, all uh, one night, two words to pass on the message to our people. Chief, you know, I put out me. This is Royal, as they call it in England. I introduce themselves as, as, uh, as children of the Balance. There are some others also that are distantly related. What is that? There are some others that are distantly related that may not be exactly royal family that can also address themselves as children of the palace. So when he said he's a child of the palace, he says in English, he 
Say, I didn't say the beginning as well. Oh, yeah, don't I? So I was warning that this uh, campaigning now and everything. So I called my chief here yeah, that, is it uh, true that uh, he's a child of the palace and uh, I don't know about it? That's why I asked him to first go quietly to go and ask him. I didn't want to say it out before. But he now came back, and the chief now came back and told me his answer. That the last time he said uh, the child of the palace, and I said, I don't remember. We know him very well. He's a, he's a son, he's, a, he's an industrial son of the soil. In Benin, we say, obviously, say, 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 no. A true indigenous son of the soil. But to say, child of the palace, I don't know whether uh, any of them is content, any of them is a politician. Politician of what? I don't know. So I just want to, I just want that clarification for the sake of public. And uh, we are the second, the fourth, fourth estate of the Iranian. That's why we have, we are married, we are contesting. <laughs> so sorry, I hope you don't mind that clarification. How about that? You are an, an, an industrial, indigenous son of the soil. We all know, we all know that. I know I've supported you in some is when you were president NBA. How about that? I have to call M5 to support you. That they should look after you when some issues came during that uh, conference or something that that the uh, LFI was banned was I think it was banned or so. I had to you remember I had to speak to him. But he was incoming, so I had to speak to him. I said that is a uh, you know the, in the uh, in, in English quote and unquote that is our son or that sort of thing. Look after him and everything. It doesn't have anything to do with the quarrel. That, that is ongoing in Kaduna. I know I spoke for you. Okay. So just to be clear that we are we are not but we are not uh, not that we are particularly against you. You know, uh, I just wanted to clarify that identification that you made just now. So I hope you don't mind. No Baba, not at all. I am grateful for the correction. <laughs> Uh, I was about, I was equating the entire Benin to the palace. That was a mistake on my part. <laughs> I am a true son of the Benin kingdom. How about that? I hope your majesty will forgive me. My... That's okay, that's okay. How about that? Bring in the news in a more digital way.